Hello 3R. Welcome to the Migration Channel. Today we have a very special guest. Please welcome Dale Hobsbawm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is it cool with you to ask a few questions about your migration story? Oh, sure, that's fine. Okay, first question. Who came with you on the trip? Well, my father and my two brothers, Brian and Patrick. Simple enough. Second question. What did you bring with you to Australia? Well, nothing. We left everything behind. We didn't even sell our house until the 70s, over 10 years later. My father's sister has used the house for offices and eventually paid $5,000 for the house to my father. Wow, that must have been hard. Third question. What did you first think of Australia? Well, at first it was very difficult as I didn't have any friends or family in Australia. Spanish was my first language and although I could speak English, I was unable to understand the Australian accent, which caused some communication barriers. Although I think about what life could have been back, like back in Chile, I have a beautiful family here now and have made very wonderful memories with many people and friends that I have met in Australia. I do, however, still remain in contact with my school friends that I still have from Chile, which ensures that I keep my Spanish up. Fourth question. How, how did you travel to Australia? Well, getting to Australia from Chile in those days was not as simple as it is today. When we left Chile, there were no direct flights between Chile and Australia, so the journey went from Santiago in Chile to Lima, Peru, then to Mexico City, then to Vancouver, Canada, then out to Hawaii, USA, then to Fiji. Then our last stopover was in New Zealand before arriving in Sydney, Australia. There were no jumbo jets or dreamliners. The plane was a small propeller plane that island hopped across the Pacific Ocean to Australia. The, took, the trip took approximately two weeks. This question. What did you first like about Australia? The thing I noticed that was English was spoken, but I found it hard to understand. It took a week or two to get used to the new country, and there were double-decker buses which I had only seen in the pictures. I loved the music and the TV. We didn't have a TV in Chile. In Chile. A challenging issue was money and getting used to pounds, shillings, pence. There was no dollars in those days. Well, thank you, Dale, for coming in. Oh, that's no problem, surely. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. See you next time on the Migration Channel.